In this diagram, or this video, I want to look at how we use Earth-Moon-Sun diagrams to figure out what the Moon's actual appearance would look like for different phases uh, when you view that Moon phase from Earth. So we have uh, a table of eight different Moon phases that we give names to, <clears throat> and our goal is to figure out how to use a diagram showing the Earth the moon at some point in its orbit, and the sun to figure out for the moon in a given point in its orbit, which of these eight phases will the moon look like when you look up and actually see it. So, here's our diagram with the earth, the sun, and eight different positions corresponding to the eight different moon phases. So this diagram covers an entire month, <clears throat> an entire month worth of moon phases. So, suppose we start here, about a week later the moon will be up to this position in its orbit, a week later it'll be back here, one more week down here, and after four weeks the moon will be back to about the same position. And notice, for each of these moon phases, I've colored them all exactly the same. They have a bright side which faces towards the sun, and a dark side that faces away from the sun. So for each position in its orbit, I've drawn the moon on this diagram exactly the same. There's always a bright side facing towards the sun and a dark side facing away from the sun. I've also drawn that on Earth. So here on this side of Earth it's daytime, on this side of Earth it's nighttime. I have an arrow here indicating the direction the Earth rotates and arrows along the moon's orbit indicating what direction the moon moves over the course of a month. So I want to use this diagram to figure out what the moon will look like in these eight different positions. And we're going to do this with a fairly simple rule. <clears throat> and the rule is simple, simply that for whatever moon phase, whichever one of these positions we're interested in, we're going to rotate the diagram so that that moon phase is directly above Earth from our perspective looking at the picture. So this means as you're solving problems, you are actually physically going to rotate your piece of paper sitting on your desk. So let's see how this works for a couple of different phases. So if we start with this phase up here, the first quarter moon phase, well this is already directly above Earth on our diagram, so we're good to go. So the first quarter moon phase looks exactly like it does in our Earth-Moon-Sun picture here, the left half looking dark and the right half looking bright. <coughs> But suppose we want to look at a different moon phase. So suppose I want to know uh, what this phase over here is going to look like. Well, this moon phase is not above Earth in our diagram right now, not directly above it. So I want to rotate this entire diagram. So I rotate a little bit, rotate a little more, rotate again, and at this point now, this moon phase that I wanted to look at is directly above Earth. And down here is our Sun. Right? So I have, if you're holding a piece of paper, you have literally rotated your paper so that it is now at an angle in front of you. So now this moon phase is above Earth, and if I look up at it, I'm going to see a lot of brightness on the right side and just a little bit of darkness over on the left side. And so I'm going to end up with the moon phase looking like this which is indeed uh, what this moon phase, the waxing gibbous, should look like. should be mostly bright, and the brightness should be on the right side, not the left side, from our perspective. And we can do this for any moon phase. Uh, let's try looking at a different one. So in this case, I'm going to rotate the picture a whole bunch. I'm going to rotate it completely upside down from where we started. So now I'm looking at this moon phase here, which is directly above Earth from my perspective. This would be the third quarter moon phase. And now I can determine that the third quarter looks bright on the left half and dark on the right half. So for any of these moon phases, all I need to do is just rotate my paper so that the moon phase I'm interested in is directly above Earth. From my perspective looking at the paper, I want to look at Earth and raise my eyes up to see the moon phase I'm interested in. As long as I do that, if I hold the paper in the correct orientation, 
and then I can figure out exactly what that moon phase will look like. So here is our original diagram with the three different moon phases we just looked at labeled and you can go through and try the other five moon phases for yourself rotating your diagram and check that you really do end up with moon phases that look like these eight different pictures that we saw at the beginning.